Um, Xpeng. Have you ever heard of Xpeng? They are a Tesla competitor in China, and they are now shipping their Model 3 rival, which is actually going to be cheaper and have a longer range than Tesla's most affordable model. However, they take they take some heat from Elon and and the people at Tesla because there were some claims and accusations in the past that they were stealing some of the tech mm. from Tesla. And there was some there's actually a guy uh what was his name? There's a, a current currently a legal battle going on over an ex-employee that was at Tesla and then downloaded he downloaded some data before he took off. Mm. Some key data. And then he said afterwards, oh, I didn't do anything with the data. But he goes to work over there. Yeah, a saboteur, as they say, right? That's a nice word to use on a show like this. Yeah. Well, that's what Elon said. I'm just copying him. Oh, did he Did he use that word? Yeah. Last year, Tesla accused his former employee, Cao uh, Guangji, of stealing trade secrets and bringing them to Xpeng. Apple made a similar accusation about its own former employee, Zhang Xiao Lang. Look at me, man. I mean, very impressive. While Cao was placed on leave during the investigation, Zhang wound up being fired after criminal charges were filed against him in the U.S. Cao admitted that he uploaded Tesla's autopilot-related source code to his own drive, but he denied that the files contained trade secrets or that he handed them over to Tesla's Chinese rival. Xpeng said it had nothing to do with the incident. You following where I'm going here? He downloads the thing. He goes to work for them and claims like, "Oh yeah, whatever I download, I just, I just keep that just in case." I don't. Yeah. You know. Nothing in there important. However, then Tesla was asking dur during the legal battle that's going on now, asking for the source code that Xpeng is using to see if there's a resemblance, <laughs> and they haven't got that yet. So it's an ongoing dispute. But in the meantime, there's it's a battleground in China over uh, dominance, electric vehicle dominance. Right now, Tesla is in the lead. Uh, they're shipping more units than any of these other players for a good reason uh, or early in the space. And they invested in China. They did a, a, they put a, a gigafactory in, in China, China and they're ready to go. They're ready to, to, to do battle in China. However, this one now is coming in cheaper and with more range. That's going to be interesting to buyers. You can't blame them. Chinese EV startup Xpeng announced on Sunday that it started nationwide deliveries of its newest P7 sports sedan which starts at a price of 229,900 won, which is US equivalent 32,470. The starting price for the entry level Tesla Model 3 is 38,350. So it's about six grand US less. And that base model is going to have better range. So that's going to, eh, what, what? Go ahead, well, Will. You're looking at a picture. Go ahead. What do you think about this? This, this website looks remarkably. Like Tesla's. What are you trying to say, Will? I mean, you know. What are you trying to say, Will? They stole the HTML code <laughs> for the website. The inspect element. <laughs> Just copied the whole thing. Uh, the car, is. you feel the car as well is Tesla inspired? It does have some sort of inspiration. But I mean, there's, there's also only so much you can do with cars. The trim around the window, that chrome trim around the uh, passenger and driver's side window, a little Tesla-ish. Mm -hmm. And let's do a side by side. Here. Oh wow, Will really wants to get to the bottom of this. I mean, it's interesting. They they small. give you the solar panels as the. Uh, I know. As That's the, the home page. Okay, you're right. They are very remarkably similar websites. I mean, come on. You know. Will's very upset right now. You know what, Will? Yeah. Is that how bad of a thing is that? I mean, in your mind, works, I, I get that people look at it and they say, the, uh, how dare you rip it? But but really speaking, what do you want them to do? Put together a trash website? No, but I mean, there's so many different types of like UI there. You can make it look nice, but also. But not they want to the compete against Tesla. They want a buyer to feel comfortable like this is another option. Other. They want a person that's cross shopping Tesla to land on their site and say, oh, this. I feel comfortable here as well. Yeah. I mean, there's a, you know, there's some research there. It's just like, it's the same website. Yeah. I, I try to buy a Model 3. I end up with a piece. <laughs> you just you accidentally uh, bought off the wrong one. I don't know. I, I'll just say 
from my point of view, I've been in this long enough now to know there are very few things that are the only version or the only way of something. When Tesla first came out, people said the Model S looked like a, I can't even remember, a Jaguar or something. They they had they had another sedan at the time that that people were A-being against and saying, it looks a lot like that one. Uh, I agree with you. Wherever possible, you do like to see a unique, a unique approach. However, I'm not surprised with the success of Tesla that you as a company would model yourself after them. And I bet you, if you asked Xpeng, hey, have you modeled yourself after Tesla? They'd say, yes, absolutely, if they were being honest. Right. But I don't know how much of a problem I see in that. Other than when it gets to the point of espionage and, and ripping data and, yes. and, 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 and if, again, it's just accusations at the moment. If it gets to the point of that, it's a different story. But as far as modeling yourself after Tesla, if you were starting a car company right now and you didn't, you might be dumb. If we're just being honest. Yeah, I mean, they are paving the way. But it's really a shock. Will's upset. Shock okay. for shock. Right? Okay, Will's upset. Look, man, there's, a, there's always two points of view. So it's, it's fair. We got to cover both points of view. It's always two points of view. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll see how the court case shakes out. For the time being, we'll see what Chinese customers think. And if the lower price is enough to convince them or if they want to stick to the, to the Tesla brand, uh, it appears that for the time being, Tesla's having success in China.